So today we are in Fullerton, California. Who knows where Fullerton is? I didn't. It's about three miles from Disneyland in Southern California, right by Anaheim. Gorgeous place. Anyway, we are here today to see Happy Jewelers. Happy Jewelers, and believe me, they're really happy. They've got a crazy, crazy inventory, and we're gonna show you. Come on, let's go. Before we go in, quick word from our sponsor. So the sponsor of today's episode is NordVPN. Now, if you aren't sure what a VPN service is, basically it is an online security tool that masks the location of where you are browsing the internet. Now, why might you need this? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, security. Let's say you're at a coffee shop or you are browsing in an airport when you're on your travels. On those unsecured wireless networks, you are at risk of being hacked and people being able to steal your personal information. Well, if you use a VPN service, then what happens is it actually masks your IP and stops those people from being able to access your information and obviously keeps you safe. One of the other things about VPN services that I love is the ability to stream content from other countries. I'm here in the US, for example, and if I want to watch anything that's streaming in the UK, all I do is I open up the NordVPN app, I select my location as the UK, and boom, there we go. I have access to all of the content that my friends and family do back in the UK, so I don't have to miss a thing. One of the other great features about NordVPN is that it has a built-in malware threat protection service. And so again, it's just that extra added level of security to keep you safe from malware, phishing attempts, those kinds of things, while you're browsing online and it is all in the one app. You don't need to pay any more for it. It is all included. Now, obviously, Michael has got you guys a screaming deal. So if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash producer Michael, you'll find that on a two year plan, you get four extra months free. And what's even better than that is that you can try it risk free for 30 days. And if you find you don't like it, no worries, you get your money back. I will link everything in the description below so you can go and check that out, nordvpn.com forward slash producer Michael. Anyway, let's get back into this episode. Gentlemen, yes, how sir. are you today? How you doing? Good to hey, see man. you. Good to see you, man. Good to see how's you too. How are you? Pleasure. How are you doing, guys? Doing? This is Adam. Uh, hello. How are you, Adam? Guys, Good. this is Gabe. This is Danny. Nice to meet you. And we are in happy time, not happy time, happy jewelers. <laughs> happy jewelers, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's next door. Yeah. Yeah. Do, that, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do that again. Right. We're, uh, we're here. Yeah. You're going to leave that in, aren't you? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate this dude. Exactly. So yeah. I don't know how it's possible that our paths have never crossed before. Yeah. You've got the craziest of inventories and you're not far from me. No. How's that even happened? I have no idea. Yeah. How long have you been here? We've been in the biz in Fullerton for 25 years. Wow. Yeah. 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 But brother. our family, I mean, my father has a huge manufacturer in LA and we've been in the business for over 55 years. Where we produce and supplied a lot of jewelry stores around the world. And you have an amazing watch collection here. Yeah. We do. We love watches, so we love uh, buying them and, uh, of course, trading and selling. And uh, You probably like yeah. selling them better than buying them. Actually, it's good to buy them right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You gotta buy them right. So, yeah. what, have we, what have we got here? What can we show everybody? Yeah, let's show them. So, uh, we got some of the hottest and greatest watches probably in the world. Yeah. I mean, over here, we got the newest GMT left handed Sprite. Okay, they look weird, don't they? They look weird. This is the first time that I've actually held one of these in my hand. Let me show and you the normal one too. I've, I've seen pictures uh, and the pictures don't do it justice, just how strange it is. Yeah. It's all in there. No, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful watch. I mean, you could take a look. It's sometimes, it, it gets some getting used to. When you look at it, you're like, wait, why, is, why does it look backwards? Because it is backwards, <laughs> right? It is, it is like, weird. Every time I, mean, I it's pick it like up, you want to turn it round. Exactly, right? <laughs> and it's upside down. The six is at twelve o'clock, right? So, how much are these? These ones today are about twenty-five thousand. When they first came out, they were in the fifty-five, and then they dropped down. They kept coming down a little bit, but it was expected. Right. I mean, if you want right. to be the first guy on the block with it, you're going to pay the premium. And you have it. more money than cents. Exactly. Right. You, you don't go care. ahead and buy yeah. it. What was the reason for doing it? Did Rolex ever say? That's a good question. Why that, did they do it? That is a good question. I mean, nobody really knows what Rolex does. They can essentially do whatever they want. They're marketing geniuses. And I mean, look what they did. They created- and people want it. People want it. They went crazy over would it. Would you with that? I think I would. I yeah. just have to try it out. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really, that's really weird. If this wasn't such a clean channel, I'd say that's up. Yeah. That's <laughs> really. Well, that's why, that's why they went down from 55 to 25,000 too, I think. And you still because can't get them though, can you? you still, oh, you still can't get them. No, it's impossible. Yeah, you're still gonna pay double the retail. What yeah. about these James Cameron? I see you've got a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, these James Cameron's are really good watches. I mean, they're, they're a lot bigger. 
They're a lot thicker, so you're gonna have the thicker casing. But these sell really well. Anytime I get them, they're instantly sold. How much are these? This is brand new. This one is about 17.5. You'd wear that, right? 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd bash that on your sea do. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is go. the 43 millimeter sea dweller. So oh, this is going to be a little bit thinner one. of a case with the red writing. This is actually a good looking watch. If you want a larger watch, but you don't want it as thick, because sometimes people feel like the deep sea is a little bit too big, they'll go for this one and it's a perfect fit. Personal choice, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a great selection you've got here. Yeah, we have literally every sky dweller that you could think of all the Daytonas that you can't like, you know, get your hands on. You have any special yeah. deals? For yours. your followers and your fans, because I'm a huge fan of yours as well. I watch all your videos. This is the Rolex Daytona. This since the beginning was always going over retail. Even 20 years ago, before the Rolex craze, the Daytona was always over retail. The market price on this is around $30,000. Today we're going to be doing it for $25,000. $25,000? No way. For you guys. Wait, yeah. wait. For Michael. I want to do it for that, Michael and that, this Michael guy's, and Adam. That's, that's nuts. For Michael. That, that's nuts. Yeah. What time do you guys open? We open at 10. And we'll put the phone number and uh, 10 <laughs> California time, So the right? video will go up at, yeah, so 10 o'clock Pacific. The video will go up at 8 o'clock. So people, Pacific. Will, people will have two hours to be ready to call you. Yeah, you so go. you'll be... Uh, yeah. Deal of a lifetime, guys. $25,000. I don't remember the last time I sold a Rolex Daytona for $25,000. And this is a used piece. Though. Brand new. Oh my gosh. Is brand, it new? brand new. One? <laughs> brand new. Okay. 2022, brand new. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so if special. someone calls you at 10 and tries to pay you for it, but I'm at the door, yeah. <laughs> who are you going to let buy it? First come, first serve. First yeah. come, first serve. All right, I'll be, I'm going to yeah. camp here overnight. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. I wasn't They're sure, do you have any of the Oyster Flexes in your collection? I don't. Rolex did a killer job on this. These are probably the most comfortable and still probably the hottest watch in their collection. Yeah. Guys, it's amazing. If you go to Rolex right now and you ask to see one of these watches, they don't have anything. And yeah. here we've got three brand new ones. Three yeah. brand new ones. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, leave as we go along yeah, here, have, you've got yeah. everything, literally. I mean, we even have like, you know, if you want to come in and buy a 36 millimeter two-tone mid-90s watch for your, you know, dad, or your uncle, 7,000, you know, so we don't. For steel and gold. Steel and yeah. gold. Wow. Yeah, we got a President Day Date. That's a great watch too for your girlfriend or your wife. 36 millimeter, very plain, simple. This is going for 18,000. Wow. So I've got to say something. When I was, I think, 23 or 24, this was my first big Rolex that I had. And this was a man's watch. Yes. There wasn't a bigger watch. 36 yeah. millimeters was huge. Yes. Huge, yeah. That's yep. And now it's tiny. Michael loves our Oh, ass. yeah. He loves that loves. Was I Love. Stop, stop yeah. it. Stop. <laughs> so I have a bunch of RMs. It's a love-hate relationship yeah. because I don't get it. I don't get the prices. It, oh, look, boxes come I out. I saved oh. a special box oh, for you. you. Oh. This is the hidden box oh, right here. right then. The hidden producer boxes. Michael Carbon Fiber. Exactly. Oh, oh we got right. Michael probably got has the the half of these watches. He probably does. his collection. <laughs> Let's see. Well, there's certainly a couple. So we wow. got the brand new 5990. This is Blue nice. dial, That's Nautilus. That watch. That is really, really pretty. Yeah. And they've come down a little bit too, right? They come down, yeah. They, these were going in the mid 500s. Now this one is about 325,000. That's a huge loss. That's right. a huge, But it's yes. still a huge overage. It's still Is it like $110,000 or something? Exactly, yep. That's like two, 200 over retail. Yeah. 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 But this is a beautiful watch too. Yeah, it this is. This is the 5711, brand new 2022. That's a Beauvais, right? Yeah, this is a Beauvais. Beauvais. It's a minute Beauvais. repeater Beauvais. and tourbillon. Whoa. This watch actually goes into a table clock as well. So, so it separates from the strap? It separates from the strap. I'll show you guys how to do it. But you can push this down. It'll, you can hear their minute repeater on it too. But this is all handmade, all hand carved, one of one piece unique. Let's hear it. So we're going to push it right over here. You hear that? Yeah, that's cool. And what's cool about it is you can actually push from here. This comes off. And then you'll actually come from the back and you pull this down and the watch will actually detach and you have a table clock. So you'll never be late for any meetings. Let me guess, that piece is a million bucks? It, you're close, yeah. It retailed for 1.3 million when, the, when they first purchased it. We have it for sale for about 200,000. Wow. Whoa. This one took a huge loss. Yes. This, this Whoa. Is, uh, that's a really good deal for that watch. This is also another one that came from the same uh, Imagine point. paying a million three and it's now worth 200,000. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> well, that, that would be, where should I put it on there? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. This is a GP, all Gerard factory. Perigo. Gerard Perigo. Gerard yeah. Perigo, exactly. That's a beautiful watch. 
This is also a piece unique one of one. This is the definition of a watch that loses value, right? Yes. So if you went to the boutique and bought this, a million five? Right about there. Really? Exactly. Yeah. A million it's about, five? It's around like a million yeah. three. What? Yeah. Today, I'm going to guess you're selling it for 350. Right on the money. No. Wow, I swear. Three we have never had exact. this discussion, I yeah. swear, I swear. <laughs> That's right on the money. Is it really? Yeah, exactly. But you know, this watch, when you look at it from a jeweler's point of view, not even a watchmaker, when you look at the diamonds, the emeralds that is picked, it's an almost impossible piece to repeat. It would probably take a jeweler or a watchmaker one to two years just to source the stones At to least. build it. Yeah, they all match up like perfectly. It's a beautiful yeah. watch, but it's a lot of money. Amazing, you yeah, went in here? a lot of money. Yeah, just put it right there. So let's talk about something for a second. So you take a watch like that, and then you take, let's say, this guy. Yeah. Is this factory? This is all factory. Okay. So this is, it's a chronograph, chronograph right? Yep. RM11 chronograph. This watch is what? 210,000 list? Yep. And, and we're just selling it for 260. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to tell me like 700,000. No, 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 no. Because they were, they were at stupid prices, right? They were up at stupid prices. The RM11 always stayed kind of stable and relatively like, I, I, I don't want to say affordable, but essentially affordable price for when you're in this type of market and you're buying these kind of watches. So why did this maintain somewhat of its value go up a little bit? And then this, which is 10 times the watch. Because Richard- Lose so much money. To be honest, I mean, Richard Mille is marketing geniuses. It's the marketing genius. Yeah. That's all that, it is, right? That's, that's all it is. I mean, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how to produce the watch. They know exactly the look of it. They know their audience. Their and audience. they know who to put it on. It's their customers. I mean, look, this is a Richard Mille, Bubba Watson. They made this for the golfer. I mean, who would have thought 20 years ago, if you put a white case with the baby blue strap, that it would sell for close to 400,000. And there's nothing other than tell you the time in seconds. Yes, yeah. that's right. It, that's it yeah. has no yeah. complications <laughs> whatsoever. It has a shock resistance. So when Bubba Watson is actually golfing and he hits the ball, the watch will resist. But so does a Rolex. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I could take that's a Rolex, true. drop it from three three stories high on concrete, yeah. and it would still be running. You're I guarantee this would smash to a million yeah. pieces. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? That is true. And also, yeah. realistically, how much shock is going through a watch on your wrist when you play a golf shot? Very little. Did you see this one? Michael? I have that one. You wow. have this one, right? Let's talk um, about it. Yes. Do you wear it a lot? I do sometimes, don't I? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I do. I love this watch. I would say it's one that's in the rotation more than most. It's beautiful. It's you know, fun. I like colors. I like bright colors. I'm so. the same way as you. I like bright colors. I don't like wearing boring watches. I like it when they're colorful. I like red straps, yellow straps, you know, baby blue straps. We buy about 15 to 20 watches a day, and we sell about 15 to 20 watches a day. This is the first factory rainbow I purchased. Really? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, these went bananas for a while, right? Yes. Like a million five or something. It was crazy. like at a million one, million two. And at that price, I just didn't feel comfortable putting up the money and buying it. But you're glad you didn't, right? I'm glad I yeah. did, yes. And now this is how much? This one is uh, 600,000. Wow. Because, you know, it gets to a certain, when it's a certain price, you almost don't feel comfortable selling it to a customer. Because imagine I sold it to a customer for one, two, one, three. I wouldn't want to pick up that guy's phone call today, just in case he said, hey, I want to sell my watch. Oh my yeah, God. and if you're going to buy it, you're going to pay less than what you can resell it for. Exactly. You're in business exactly. to make money, yeah. right? So fortunately, I got mine at sticker at the oh, that's, MSRP. Yeah, so. that's great. That's awesome. Are you kidding? Yeah, very fortunate. Very fortunate. Roger Dubuis, something yeah. we don't see very often. This is a gorgeous watch. It's Twin Turbion. Yeah. yeah. You know your stuff. It's oh. really amazing me every single time. Literally, I watch your videos too. It's Sorry, crazy. One second. What's so funny? I'm not sure if, that, if the video that I'm thinking of will have gone out yet, but when he just said that you know your stuff looking at a turbion, it made me remember a certain oh. video with a certain person with a certain not a turbion. That I said was a turbion. Yeah. And that is a turbion. I think a double turbion. Well, maybe it's not a double turbion. I don't even know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Looks like a single turbion. Is that massive turbion, right? Double barrel. Double barrel, that's what I was looking for. A lot of people seem to think that turbions are very delicate. I think they used to be, but nowadays they're pretty robust. I wear them semi-regularly. I've never had a problem with one. Well, this isn't technically a here turbion. We, here we go. Oh, dear. I that's hate this guy. I don't know why I deal with him. I really don't know what I'm <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. Like, they asked Roger to be the CEO at that time. I don't know if it was Roger to be or it was, the, yeah, CEO. the CEO. They're like, why'd you make a double turbine? What did he say? He said, because I can. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
That was literally his explanation. Why not? He said, why not? Exactly. Because I can. I it, have one Roger Dewey that's very similar to this, and it's a single tourbillon. Yeah. Yes. And it's like over here somewhere. Yeah. Um, They're gorgeous watches. Beautiful watches, but they don't have the value. They don't have the value now. So really. this one, probably very expensive. Three twenty-five retail. We're selling it for about a hundred. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's that's a, a bit, third of the price. Yeah. But a hundred grand for a, a double, double tourbillon. tourbillon. That's good. Deal. It's good money. Oh. This is an Adam watch. Mm, it's not. It's not. No. Ceramic, right? This is full ceramic, full custom. Um, the company is AED Remold. I believe they focus kind of on the um, Middle Eastern region right but it's a gorgeous watch i mean i this is my style i love these kind of watches so the the movement is original rolex original rolex but and everything else including the dial is, is, is custom, custom made yeah how much is this this one is seventy five thousand. i could actually see me wearing that yeah no. really i could see you wearing that so question yeah. for you that when you say custom is the bracelet an aftermarket bracelet or yes. is it just ceramic coated no aftermarket okay. exactly so this is full see ceramic. the one that like you're wearing Chanel, Adam, yeah. right? exactly. you just uh, Pa uh, it's a PVD, like they take DLC, the watch, yeah, the yeah. DLC, mm -hmm. instead of DLC, yeah. they just like coated exactly. on that. Yeah. But this one, they like take everything apart, they take the movement and build a case around it. Wow, but it's so even the case is an ceramic case. It's yeah. all ceramic. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. You but see, it, I'm not sure how, as much as I love modifying things. He modifies everything. I modify yeah. everything. <laughs> um, but as much as I love it, I feel like when you do that and when all that's left is the movement, you've kind of, it's like taking a but taking a Ferrari, putting a Ferrari engine in a kit car and still calling it a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Right. This is a crazy expensive piece, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is the RM3601. They made it for the rally race car driver, Thomas Loeb. It retails for about $1.2 million. Whoa. But this is an RM that you'll take a loss on if you buy it. Really? Yes, uh, for brand new. So what are you selling this one for? This one is 450000 So. If you go to RM, you'll pay 1.2. Yes. And if you buy it here, it's 450,000. Yes. And it's brand new. And it's brand new. But these are the pieces that Richard Mill and boutiques will essentially make you buy. In, in order, order to, to get the cheaper one that is it, desirable. Exactly. So what a lot of people don't realize when they say, well, why do people go to gray market dealers and they pay crazy over retail prices? Is because ADs will essentially make you do the same exact thing. They'll just do it in more creative ways. They say, hey, do you want this Daytona at retail? Sure, we'll give it to you. But you know you gotta buy, you know two lemons. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For X amount, and okay, we'll give it to you. That's a cool AP too. Is this factory? Custom. Custom. So everything is factory. Only the diamonds are custom. This is a forty-one millimeter, rose gold. It's actually it's a gorgeous watch. So I used to wear a lot of aftermarket diamond blingy stuff, and I've stopped doing it completely. He's laughing again. <laughs> um, <laughs> just because of uh, the last video where we did the reaction to it. Yeah, but I mean, I've actually gone off them for me. This is gorgeous. This is a RM7201. It's all black with rose gold on the casing. This is probably one of my favorite Richard Mills because I like the thinness of it. Me personally, I don't like these really thick watches that Richard Mill makes. I like the thinner casing that this, this has. This is very nice, actually. Yeah, that is, is yeah. Okay. I really one like that. One of the prettiest RMs I think I've seen. Yes. And what's the story on this one price-wise? This one is 430000 the retail, um, I'm not 100. I want to say it's around 300 to 300. Uh, I want actually, yeah, it's about 300k. So 300k is the MSRP. Yes. And what is this selling for? 430,000. And it, it's a chronograph, right? It's a chronograph. That's it. That's it. It has a really cool crown too. <laughs> it really does. Well worth the money now. <laughs> How do they justify these numbers? I mean, look, the the process of their watchmaking is out of this world. I mean, the way they make the casing, what the materials that they use, the crystal that they're using, the the technology that goes into their movements, is quite superior than other brands. And remember, a company like Rolex will make eight hundred to nine hundred thousand watches a year. Richard Mill will only make three to four thousand watches a year. So it's a very limited run. They probably make more profit on those three, four thousand yes. than Rolex yeah. do, right? <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> well, let's finish off with this one, Vacheron. Vacheron. Yeah, so this is- I the, love uh, this watch. This is, is the most sought out and most difficult Vacheron Constantine to get. It's a perpetual calendar, skeleton face. What's cool about this watch is it comes with a leather strap and a rubber strap, but obviously the bracelet is the most popular. How much is this guy? This one is 210,000. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece. That's that gorgeous. Yeah. I really like that. This is one of the few Vacherons that actually goes over retail. Hey, guys, you want to buy the cheapest Daytona on the planet? How much did you say it was? $25,000. $25,000? $25,000 for a brand new and 2022. I and, I, and I can't buy it. 
You can't buy you, it. You're I'm, I'm first in line. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, we shouldn't buy it. We, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so good luck to everybody out there. This has been eye-opening, and, and thank you so, so much for showing us this wonderful inventory. We're going to put all your information. Perfect. Um, you have a Instagram and, yes. and all of that yeah, stuff. We'll, we we'll list it all. So, guys, you know what to do. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button. We're in it to win it. What have I missed? Uh, head over to Producer Michael Boutique. Head over there. Buy some, some fun shirts. shirts and whatever else you like there. And that's it. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. And so then I can wear that in the... Wait, what? what are you doing? I'm doing a trade. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just putting the camera away. Yeah. What? what? I, 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 I saw that and I thought it was nice. And Yellow gold sky dweller with the ivory nice. dial. One of the nicest Rolexes in the market and the most complicated movement Rolex makes. Yeah. It is. And so you're literally going to just swap that swap. off your yeah. wrist right now. Done. <laughs> you are. Done. You are such a magpie. Even uh, trade. <laughs> I hope it fits Done. you. Mate, that is gorgeous. I hope it fits me too. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, we just, it's tight. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Let me yeah. see. How about that? That's good looking. Mate, that's gorgeous. I love the you... bezel. That's really nice. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Done deal. Well, I'll well, take the tag off. It's always good to have something new, fresh and shiny, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, bye everyone. See you.